This video is sponsored by Blair's Wire Bonsai Trees. For unique and personalized pieces of beauty and artwork, check out the link in the description and use coupon code BeastlyGamer for 10% off your order. What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. This video is going to be something a little bit different than what I normally do. About a week and a half ago, I did a video titled My True Ghost Story or My True Ghost Experience, something like that. And uh, it was a video where I chronicled a real ghost story that happened to me when I was a child. And believe it or not, a lot of you guys uh, actually asked me to continue on with this series and tell some more, for, uh, some, some more of my real ghost stories. And uh, I've got probably a handful more that actually happened to me as a child and uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different in this video. I'm actually going to do the ghost story in Minecraft. Now this is my PlayStation 4 Minecraft. You guys can see it's not really anything uh, spectacular. I made a few homes. A lot of these homes have really real significant meaning to me and my family. And this house in particular is the house where we're going to talk about today. This is my grandmother's house in Akron, Ohio. And uh, this house, a lot of people have seen a lot of things in this place and I'm talking about really uh, malevolent entities that that make themselves known in the worst way possible I've seen things in this house my brother's seen things in this house my mom has seen things in this house my aunts and uncles have seen things cousins have seen things and I'm sure I, I know of a story of my grandfather actually having to fight one of these things uh, demons you know or, or ghosts or demonic entities exist and for people who haven't seen it count your blessings these things really do happen and uh this house in particular i'm going to walk you guys through it and let you guys see exactly from my perspective what it was going into this house in this house you went in the side door every day you drop your shoes off whenever we come to visit you leave your shoes on the landing here and then you come up these little stairs and you'd be in the dining room this is where everybody stayed at this area here was the dining room and that's where pretty much all the activity happened in this house as far as human beings now every now and then I would creep down my grandma's uh, basement stairs to where she did her laundry she'd have a washer and dryer there there'd be like a clothesline and then every now and then I'd creep around the corner and I'd see something it was like a black entity down there it looked like a man and then he would just kind of sink back and recess back into the wall. And I would just take off, naturally, like any five-year-old child would. I'd run up the stairs and I'd be crying. I'd be looking behind me, making sure this thing wasn't behind me. I'd run up to someone, you know, to get solace and say, Hey, look, there's something here people wouldn't believe me. And that's what really what happens to a lot of children. They get kind of dismissed. Anyway, this is my grandma's dining room. My grandma would sit here, like, every day. My grandpa would sit here with his guitar and all their kids would, you know, congregate around and all the grandkids and they would just talk in here. You know, I remember going in her, her kitchen and, you know, watching her cook and getting water out of the refrigerator. Nobody ever stayed in the living room. It was like Victorian furniture in here. My grandpa had a um, piano, a small piano that he never, he never messed with, but people pretty much didn't stay in the living room at all. It was all dining room activity and upstairs was the, pretty much the area that we were terrified of the most because it was always dark up here and it was just a very strange feeling you would get coming up these stairs anyway you get up the stairs and there's a hall directly in front of the stairs was a bathroom and it would be an old tub on four legs sitting right here you got a sink you got a toilet and it was just creepy as hell my grandma's room was here you know uh, they'd have pictures everywhere on the wall I never really spent much time in there. Uh, this is actually a room where a lot of paranormal things have happened to a lot of people, believe it or not. Someone saw something in the doorway, it came and jumped on them on the bed. So there's some really malevolent entities in this world. This is my cousin Abby's room. And uh, whenever we come to visit from Georgia, uh, we'd stay in here. And I remember one day in particular, we slept on the floor here next to the bed. And I woke up at like 3 or 4 in the morning, and there was a rocking chair here. And there was someone who... They were so dark that I, could, I couldn't make out, out any details. In a black room, they were darker than all the black in the room, and they were just rocking, just right here, rocking, looking at us on the floor. And so I snuggled up under my brother as much as I could and tried to brave the fear. This house is a terrifying house. Lots of things have happened, but now I want to tell you guys a story of what actually happened to me on a day in particular in my grandma's house. So we're down here in the dining room. Everybody's down here, the whole family, aunts, uncles, grandkids, everybody talking. Of course, the kids don't know what's going on because it's adult talking. At that age, we had no idea what the hell they were talking about. Anyway, I looked at my brother. I said, hey, man, I got I to gotta pee. And he knew I wasn't going to go by myself. He knows I'm not no fool. So he was like, all right, let's go. He's going to go with me. And so we came around the corner. I want to try to do this as slowly as I can. We looked at the piano. And as we looked up the stairs, there was something 
on the stairs. It started coming down the stairs. It was just... <laughs> it's scary looking at this thing. It was an all-black thing. It had a white mask. It did not look like a square face, but it was a human-type face, but it had, like, uh, I want to say a screaming expression. It was screaming at us without making any sound. It was a white mask, and the body was all black. And so immediately, we started backing up, and we went, ran back into the dining room to tell people there was something on the stairs. And so we looked back at the stairs. This thing was going up and down the stairs like it just wanted... It was full of just rage, that's the feeling I got. It was really, really upset. Anyway, we ran back in here. We started telling our, our grandparents and our aunts and uncles and mom and dad what was going on. And so at this point, a whole bunch of, you know, my mom, my dad, uh, they all came in here. And they came over here and looked. And they did not see this thing. And so I'm a kid. I'm standing right about here. They're walking around over here looking for it. And it was right there. And it acted like it wanted to jump from, from the bottom of the stairs to come and get us. It, it acted like it was ready to rush out and grab us and take us someplace so we were extremely f afraid so we, we ran <laughs> I'm scared talking about it we ran in here and I, we started telling our mom what was going on my mom she's Cherokee Indian so she has some sense of, sense of you know she's sensitive to these kind of things so she started saying prayers and uh, my grandma she started you know praying as well and, and after a while we were looking in there and the thing was gone you know it was gone and and I think the prayers had something to do with it. At least that's what I thought. And a lot of the adults talking to us kind of got us to not be quite as afraid anymore. And so I found myself over in this area over here. And when I stood over here by this heater on the ground, I happened to look down in it and it was there. And it was moving around like in a very erratic pattern. Like it was really upset. Like it wanted to. The only way I can describe it is that it wanted to eat me. It wanted to devour me. And I saw this thing moving, and I jumped immediately and ran over and jumped up on my mom. And uh, at that time, my mom said it was time for us to leave. And this thing was down there. And I know if a couple adults came over and looked, they couldn't see it. And every time they held us, you know, they, we were in their hands. They'd come over and say, you see it? We, we'd scream because we'd see the thing, and they wouldn't see it. Nobody could see it. And that was one of the incidents that happened inside my grandma's house in Akron, Ohio. This place has a lot of memories for me. Uh, some good ones seeing my family, some terrifying ones seeing demons and whatnot. Uh, and that was just one of my true stories. I hope you guys enjoyed this true story. If you did, show some support, give a thumbs up. If you've had anything like this happen to you in your entire life, please write it out in the comments. I love to hear it. I will respond to all your comments. Uh, and I thank you all for checking out this video. If you guys like this video, I will continue to do them. I got a few more stories I can share. And if you're new to oh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. That's very important. It really helps out my channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. I want to get out of this house.